part of the etiquettes of entering the lavatories is to use your left foot when you enter and use your right foot when you exit. And also part of the etiquettes in Sunnah, as mentioned earlier, that you only use your left hand when you hold your private part or you clean your private part, uh, uh, not your right hand, only your left hand. And the hadith is, the Prophet said, when any one of you urinates, he must not uh, hold his private part with his right hand. Rather, this means that he has to use his left hand. And some scholars say that part of the etiquettes of answering the call of nature when urinating specifically is that a person sits down or squats because this is what was generally practiced by the Prophet ﷺ. It is safer for a person that he would not have any ricochet from his own urine coming back to his body and to his clothes. And it is more concealing of his aura if he's in the open rather than when he's standing up. Nevertheless, it was proven in Sahih al-Bukhari that the Prophet ﷺ did urinate while standing up. So it is permissible totally to urinate while standing up. It is totally prohibited to answer the call of nature in places that would harm people. So in the places where they walk, in their ways, in their uh, streets, in the places that they seek shade under a tree, in reservoirs or places they may use to drink water, and you soil that and spoil it by urinating, the, all of this is totally prohibited and a cause and means of attaining Allah's curse upon the individual who does this. Also among the things that need to be careful with, facing and giving your back to the Kaaba, to the Qibla, when urinating or defecating. And this is an issue of dispute among scholars regarding whether we're prohibited from doing this in an open area while in a closed area or within the structure of a building that is permissible. This is an issue of dispute. And the most authentic opinion is, inshallah, that if you are in a building or in lavatories or toilets that are built in the facing or giving your back to the Qibla, you have no other ch uh, choice or alternative. But when you're constructing your house, it's a must upon you to change the direction and Allah Azza wa knows best. What is not recommended? Yes, it is permissible, but it's not recommended to do when uh, uh, you're answering the call of nature. You should try to avoid answering the call of nature, and that is urinating, where there is wind that may bring back your urine back to your body. So don't urinate in the direction of the wind. Rather, let it be with the wind so it goes away from your body. And it is not at all recommended to speak. It's, part, it's not part of the etiquette of Islam to speak or talk when answering the call of nature, unless there is a necessity. What people do in public lavatories, chit-chatting and, and, and talking is indecent uh, altogether. Also, it is not recommended to urinate in a hole in the ground for the fear that it might be inhabited by jinn or reptiles or snakes that may come back to you and harm you. And also, it is not recommended to enter lavatories while answering the call of nature with anything that may contain the name of Allah Azza wa Jal, such as uh, um, notes with the name of Allah or the Quran, etc. Unless you are afraid that it may be stolen. Some banknotes have the name of Allah on them. If you keep your wallet outside, you'll come back most likely not to find it. Likewise, if you put your Quran and you fear that people would snatch it and run away with it, then this is a necessity that you have to uh, accompany it with you if there's no one else uh, to save it for you. Okay, then what about mobile phones? I have my Quran app on it and some books, there's no problem because when you have a CD or your uh, uh, app in a mobile phone, 
it's not the actual Quran. You cannot see it. You cannot touch it. It's data stored on it. And as long as it's not open and it's not displayed in the lavatories or in the toilets, there's no problem with that. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.